morning everybody it's new tire time so i'm dropping my car at tesla and um and i've got the bike in the back and cycle back up the hill nice and simple also need to get my car MOT'd quite soon i wonder if they do that here these days they didn't used to we need that Yeah, they don't do MOTs. I didn't think they did. That's fine. I'll get it booked in with the place I um, had do it last year. They did a perfectly efficient, reasonable job at it. And my car is ready to pick up. So that's awesome. Avoid the bushes, bit overgrown this. Ah, that's a spiky one. <laughs> right, yes. So yeah, car's ready and the good news is front tires were not uh, too low they're on sort of five millimeters so they'll be good for another six twelve months probably twelve the way I drive I try to be as cautious and careful with my driving as it's possible to be because you know why not but I did want to talk a little bit oh stinging metals about the old uh, left hand drive only ludicrous model s and x I have a nasty feeling, although nobody has confirmed it yet or even suggested it, but I have a nasty feeling that all the Model S's and X's are going to end up being left-hand drive only in time because they are the premium cars and uh, I mean it, provided they've got round steering wheels and portrait screens I think you'll still be able to get the you know the right-hand drive models but once it goes to landscape screen and the sort of cockpit style controller stroke steering wheel thingy then I think it's bye bye right hand drive hello America <laughs> uh, yeah but the problem is from Tesla's point of view they don't sell enough of the vehicles to justify the cost of building a model that way round so, and the S and the X are, they're the premium vehicles for Tesla. It's not what they want to be doing. Even if they were going to make a bigger Y or, you know, three, they wouldn't call it the S and X. They'd call it the Y Max or something. Sorry, it's a bit noisy here. Blooming roads. Gah. Cars. Such a wasteful nightmare. Says the man going to pick up a car. You know what, let's, let's do this later. It's a bit too noisy. That's fancy. Never seen that before. Okay, I'm home. Well, I'm at my mum's house where I park my car and uh, I'm gonna plug it in in a sec, which is great. But I just wanted to finish off what I was saying then about these um, left-hand drive cars. I, I, I wouldn't buy one, is the truth. I get a model that was right hand drive even though it wouldn't come with the fancy steering wheel and the landscape aspect ratio screen what would make life a lot easier is if this country could swap round to using the other side of the road unfortunately that's kind of a long-term fix and it would be super inconvenient for lots and lots of people on the road but it would make it easier to drive into the rest of europe so there's that yeah that's never going to happen of course nope definitely not so uh, i think we're just kind of stuck with it you know the problem is when it's a uh, a low volume vehicle they're not going to have the interest in investing in the tooling and the production line to make right hand drive cars i mean i don't know how many they sell in this country but they would probably have sold of those top end model s and x's probably somewhere between 500 and a thousand would that be per month or um yeah possibly that many per month but it's it's still it's not a lot when you're talking about a car company that aims to make millions of cars a year and is currently making hundreds and hundreds of thousands a year. It's just, you know, they, they don't have the headspace for it and it eats into the, the bottom line far too much for them. So I understand why Tesla made that decision. Low volume, luxury, high price vehicles is not where they want to be. They want to be a mass market. Everybody can have one level of car. So unfortunately that is the situation for people in the uk 
Tesla have come out with a reacher so that if you're sat over there and you need to get a ticket from a machine over here, you can use this extendable reacher thing to reach across the car and get it. Seems like an utterly ridiculous solution to me. You know, it kind of speaks to the insanity of the whole state of affairs. I mean, I hate this phrase, but the truth is, it is what it is. Uh, apparently, loads of people have been cancelling their orders for ludicrous Model S's and X's, which makes perfect sense because purposefully buying a left-hand drive model in this country, where everyone else is in a right-hand drive car, is ludicrous. Yeah, you, can, you can see that one coming, couldn't you? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, um, it's not the best. Also, the other thing is, of course, at the moment they only do left-hand drive ones, maybe some point down the line they will have enough spare bottom line and they'll actually decide, you know what, we want that Halo product. We want it to be right-hand drive and we want people in the UK to be able to, you know, buy one or, for that matter, places like Australia. Um, and if that's the case, then they may change their minds. And you wouldn't want to be one of the people that had a left-hand drive one when they're now selling right-hand drive ones. Yeah, and on top of that, because we have the, um, whatever the phrase is, to leave the EU, it means that you can't resell a left-hand drive one onto the continent where every other car is left-hand drive, well, at least not easily, because you would have to export it from this country and import it to the EU, and the cost of that would be prohibitive, to say the least, not to mention the paperwork. So, yeah, uh, I wouldn't do it. If you need an S or an X, get one of the lower model. I mean, to be honest, if I was in the market for an S or an X, I'd probably be looking at a second-hand one at this at this point. I've done 168,000 miles in this car, and it's it's going pretty well. It's got an MOT in a couple of weeks, so hopefully, touch wood, that will go well. And um, yeah, and uh, I'm just keep driving this car for as long as I can great piece of engineering this anyway uh, i better go and relieve my mother who is just temporarily looking after jasper and get on with the rest of my day i hope you've enjoyed today's blog post I i'd be interested if anyone wants to leave a, a comment you know have you got one of the ludicrous uh, model s's or x's with its left hand drive in this country would you get one have you cancelled your order what is the state of affairs out there maybe i'm on my own and everyone else is ju just like oh it's fine but personally I don't like it. You know, I don't like driving a car that is on the wrong side from where I am. If I do drive into Europe, it's not the end of the world because it reminds me that I need to be on the other side of the road. But to drive that all the time in my home country, no, don't think so. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you like, links in the description. And big thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next episode of my vlog. Bye.